or mean as we call it. Now, how often do you hear that people say that, you know, you have various kinds of data, you have to collect that data, and you have to organize it. So many a times, what happens is that people, in order to reflect what is the value, average value of a person, or average value of the group, use various methods. Let us say, Sachin was playing. And while playing in five innings, he scored 50, 62, 70, 75, 68 runs. Now, if someone were to ask, what is the average rate? What is the score which Sachin has been making over various innings? The easiest way for this would have been to look, which is, I mean, you can observe these numbers and you say what is the average. Now, basically, when you look at these numbers, there's no defined pattern. So if suppose someone were to ask what is the kind of score that Sachin is making over various innings, you don't have an answer. Because these numbers are a bit scattered, even though these are in lines, but they are a bit scattered. So to get an answer to that question, you have something called average. So basically we calculate what is the average score that a person has been making. And the most common method that is used to calculate these average is the arithmetic mean or the mean as we call it. Now suppose I have to understand what do you mean by arithmetic mean or the average. I'll just write down the definition of arithmetic mean or AM as we call it. Arithmetic mean is calculated by the following formula. And what is this formula? Mean is equal to sum of all observations. Now what is an observation? Observation is nothing but the set of numbers that you have. So here in this case your observations are these five numbers. And then you divide them by the number of observations. You can call it as variable, you can call it as a number. Here we are using the word observation. So in this particular case, I have these as observations. Okay, so now if I were to calculate the mean or the average or the arithmetic mean of the various scores that Sachin has done, what do I need to do? I need to calculate the sum of all observations. So which are the observations? I have 50, I have 62, I have 70, I have 75, and I have 68. And then I divide them by the number of observations. Now how many observations do I have? Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I divide this by 5. Now I need to do a calculation of all these numbers. And how much do I get? You can do it individually. Let me just do it in a quick manner. So 8 plus 5, 13, 13, 2, 15, 0. So 5. 1 goes 7 and 7, 14 and 7, 21 and 6, 27 and 5, 32. So 325 divided by Five. Now, what is the answer? So what I do, I divide 325 by 5. 3 cannot be divided by 5, so I get a cross here. Then 5, 6 times 5 is 32, 30 sorry. And so I get 2 here, then I get 5 again here. And 5 goes into 25, 5 times. So I get 25 
which will give me a zero remainder. So 65. So my mean or the arithmetic average is 65. And this is one of the things which you see very often. Whenever you see any batsman coming in, there is a set of records that is shown for him. And what this also show is that what is the average score that this person has made. That average score or the mean is basically nothing but a sum of observations which is sum of scores that he has made over all the innings divided by the number of observations or the number of innings that he has played. Now observation can be anything. In this example because we were dealing with the score of an individual it was the score which we had taken as the observation.